Hey guys, what's up? It's James. Today I'll be teaching you how to play Let Her Go by Passenger. So obviously, starting off, I'm going to teach you the intro, so here's how it goes. Then just repeats, does the exact same thing. Okay, so starting off there, I'm just going A, B, A, G. Going to the D here. Playing a C in my left hand, I'm playing a G. Then going up to here. C major seven. Then when I go to this next part, I'm playing a D and an F sharp in my left hand. And I'm playing the exact same thing with it, but with this chord in my left hand. Then I'm going. So see that? It's from the beginning. Playing an E and then a B in my left hand and going. Then I'm playing a B, then going back to a D chord. Then just going into it again. A D, E, G. Then coming up here to the high D. Then playing this. D to a B and an E, then playing this to end it off. Playing a D in my left hand, E and G, going up to the A, and then just landing on this E minor chord to end it, which is E, E, my right hand, G and B. So starting off again. Go to the C in the left hand, play the G in the left hand, then play the, come up to this chord, then go to this chord in your left hand, D chord, back to the D, try again, a bit faster. Then you have the intro. Just play that twice. Then, after you play it the second time, you're going to end on that D E minor. Then go down to the D. This is to go into the first verse. To the C chord. Okay, so what was I doing there? So once I was going into the verse, playing two Bs, then going A, B, A, G, playing that C chord, playing these two notes in my left hand, just going alternating between these, and just going down one note in my left hand to the B, Then just 
going uh, to the A, A, B, A, G, then going to a D, to the E minor. So, then I'm going to a C again. Then go back into it again. So, starting off, C, alternate those two notes, go down the left hand to the B, keep that note the same. E, sorry, A, B, A, G, to this D chord. All I'm really doing is going up a fifth when I'm playing, whenever I'm playing a left hand chord, I'm playing the root, then the fifth. So, there I'm playing this. This is a G chord over B, but now I'm going to go to the D, back to the C. Okay, so going back to the C. There's a little kind of fill to the D. Play it again. Sorry, I'm playing these two notes here. In the top. And there's this part. Play that twice. So, so far I've got the intro, then that first verse, and then we're gonna come into this part where there's not really, it's where the band kind of comes in. But there's no real, uh, there's no words, it's just playing an E minor. E in the left hand, G and B, then go down in stepwise in your left hand to the C. Just keeping that same rhythm. Dun, 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 dun. I'm just I'm doing a kind of resolving it to the third there. Do it again. Then you get into this part. This part starts in E minor. So I'm going. To the C. Then I'm going into a B minor. So how's that start? E and B. Going up to the D, playing an F sharp and here, play it again. into that other part. You can either do this, or you can do this. We can do this. So we just played that, starting after we played that mini part, where the band comes in. So 
we're gonna go to a C. B minor, B in the left hand, D, F sharp, B, A. to a D. I'm going to play that because it's nice. Down to the C. B minor. You can come back in here. Then you do that whole thing again, the part that starts with E minor. So basically the way you're gonna play it is you're gonna play the intro. Okay, so we got that. Then you come into this first verse. Then you go in this part where the band comes in. Play that twice. Now this part starts in the E minor. And then this part is just like the same as the uh, verse. Basically, it's just about knowing what when to play each sequence with the song, if you even want to do that. Um, the song actually basically plays the same parts over and over again, but in different sections to make it um, to make it longer. But I'm basically giving you all the tools to be able to play it any way you really want. But I'm just telling you how it's played just so you can know the sequence and you can play this along with the recording and match them up. But if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. Okay. So now I've taught you that part. Now there's this middle part. After you've played the... Uh, go to the D. And then this part. This is the middle section. So you're playing E minor, E, going to a C, uh, E and C, and then coming down to the B flat, uh, sorry, B, and then. You get basically three chords. So you got an E minor, C, and so. C to the D. Okay. And you play that twice, and then you come back to this part. Get 
to that part. Then you come here to end it. So, just going back between those two notes. To a G, D, C. Then you just play that again. To really end it. Then to really end it, you go. So I'm just playing at the end. And you let it go. D, D, B, A. You just play an E minor chord. So I hope that guys, I hope that helped you guys. I know it might have been a bit choppy and sometimes, but I feel like if you just if you listen to the recording, go back to this tutorial, you'll have all the snippets you need to put it all together. So thank you guys once again for watching my videos and uh, stay tuned because I'm going to be coming out with pop tutorials, jazz licks, jazz tips, pop tips. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited. So keep watching and I'll keep you guys uh, entertained. Okay, see you later. Bye.